Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn about time duration. What is the meaning of time duration? The time taken to carry out any activity is called the time duration or the time interval of that activity. For example, an artist started painting from 2 p.m. and completes the painting at 5 p.m. The time period from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. is the duration taken to complete the painting. Now let's learn how to calculate the time duration of few activities. Raju started revising for his exam from 8 a.m. and completes his revision by 12 noon. How long did he study? We know that Raju started revising from 8 a.m. By 9 a.m. he had finished studying for 1 hour. By 10 a.m. 2 hours. By 11 a.m. 3 hours. And by the time he completed his revision at 12 noon, he had studied for a duration of 4 hours. Another example. Sakshi went shopping at 11 a.m. and reached home at 4 p.m. How much time did she spend in shopping? Sakshi went at 11 a.m. One hour after 11 a.m. it was 12 noon. One hour after 12 noon the time was 1 p.m. and Sakshi had been shopping for 2 hours. By 2 p.m. it was 3 hours. By 3 p.m. 4 hours. And by the time Sakshi reached home at 4 p.m., she had been shopping for 5 hours. So we can say that Sakshi went shopping for a duration of 5 hours. Next example. A movie starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 9.30 p.m. How long was the movie? The movie started at 6 p.m. by 7 p.m. It was 1 hour, by 8 p.m. 2 hours, by 9 p.m. 3 hours. And the movie ended at 9.30 p.m. which means 30 minutes more. That is a total time period of 3 hours 30 minutes. So we can say that the duration of the movie was 3 hours 30 minutes. 30 minutes. One more example. Mr. Yadav left for work at 9.30 a.m. and returned home at 4.45 p.m. How much time did he stay away from home? Mr. Yadav left at 9.30 a.m. By 10.30 a.m. he was away from home for one hour. By 11.30 a.m. it was two hours. 30 minutes after 11.30 a.m. the time is 12 noon. 30 minutes after 12 noon, it is 12.30 p.m. And by then, Mr. Yadav was away from home for 3 hours. By 1.30 p.m., it was 4 hours. 2.30 p.m., 5 hours. 3.30 p.m., 6 hours. And 4.30 p.m., 7 hours. He returned home at 4.45 p.m., which means 15 minutes more. So now we can say that Mr. Yadav returned home after 7 hours 15 minutes. And that means Mr. Yadav was away from home for a duration of 7 hours 15 minutes. Now we learn how to find the time at which an activity ended if the starting time was given along with the time duration of the activity. For example, a magic show begins at 10 a.m. and ends after a duration of 3 hours. At what time did the show end? The magic show started at 10 a.m. After 1 hour, the time was 11 a.m. After 2 hours, it was 12, it was 12 noon. And by the time the show ended after 3 hours, the time was 1 p.m. Hence, we can say that after a duration of 3 hours, the magic show ended at 1 p.m. One more example before we end. The students started answering an exam of 2 hours 30 minutes duration 
from 8.30 a.m. At what time did the exam end? The exam started from 8.30 a.m. After 1 hour, the time was 9.30 a.m. After 2 hours, the time was 10.30 a.m. And after 30 minutes more, that is after 2 hours 30 minutes, the time was 11 a.m. This means after a duration of 2 hours 30 minutes, the, the exam ended at 11 a.m. Thank you.